Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's 100% Fallout 3, which is freaking great, by the way. Holy crap. Uh, it's Like I said, it's great to see people have interest for the series, because Fallout typically on my channel is done uh, not as well as Elder Scrolls, for good reason. But also, yeah, this game is great. It's nice to see people uh, wanting to see more recordings. Remember, if you want to see more recordings, leaving comments, liking the videos, and subscribe with the bell turned on, all helps that out, out that to happen, and yada, 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 and blah, blah, blah. If you watched the last Skyrim episode, ladies and gentlemen, you might be aware that it is real sleepy boy hours. There's a level of cringe in my bones when I just said that. I'm pushing 30, man. I'm gonna be 30. I can't be making memes anymore. I can't be making jokes about memes. My life's over. I'm an old man now. My withered bones are breaking, crackling. Uh, anyways, yeah. It's really late. Um, 12.51 a.m. Door to Georgetown, the Mall Metro. And uh, I'm really looking forward to recording this, but at the same time, I am very tired. You might say, well, why would you record? Well, I, like I said, I kind of want to see if um, it's good to record. I, I kind of want to see what people think about different recording styles, you know? Yeah, if I'm, like, high energy and exuberant, you know, it can be fun. But at the same time, oh, God. That's actually terrifying. That is actually terrifying. Five? Oh. So unfortunately, we can't really take much damage here. Also, this is going to be incredibly dark, isn't it? Um, Feral Ghoul Roamer. We're going to press A to take all. Where in the gosh dang heck is my combat shotgun? I, literally every episode I record of this, I forget where I put everything. Uh, let's eat some stuff. Let's drink some Nuka-Cola. God, that's really all that we have. Oh boy, this is going to be tough, man. Okay, by the way, what we're doing is we are doing this quest right here. Ahem. Galaxy News Radio. Find the... I can't. Find the Museum of Technology. I cannot do three dog. That voice is so challenging, man. I saw some food back here that I wanted to grab, by the way. Please don't be alcohol. Milk bottle, milk bottle, dandy boy, apples, conductor. Yeah, now I actually have to scrounge for supplies like I'm living in the waste for the first time, like, ever in the history of playing this game. Might as well turn the pit boy light on because we ain't gonna be sneaking. We ain't got no sneak. We ain't got no sneak up in here. Up in here. Oh, my... Thought for a second it was that sound. That click sound that means a grenade just fell and is about to literally insta-kill you. Okay, moving right along. Uh, we have a cash register, which usually has pre-war money, which we will snag. GV, why do you take the pre-war money? Well, because it weighs nothing, but it has a value. So basically... So basically, you can hoard it for no negative, pretty much. Actually scary. Actually scary that we have, like, no healing either. Okay. Bottle cap, thank you. System error. Okay, so we need to work for three dog. Ow! Uh, in order to... The heck is going on here? Spatula? Oh, somebody said, remember that I need a key from three dog. Uh, true, but... He didn't give me the option. This guy does not know... Why was he acting like that? That was very weird. Um, he did not give me the option to get a key, right? So I don't think I could have gotten one regardless. Uh, also, we're not going to explore these metro tunnels because there's no reason to really... Oh, hell yeah. Blood packs, stim packs. Nice. Very nice. Oh, warm morning. Okay, let's get out of here. Just kidding. Did you think that I didn't see the Chinese spec ops manual? Come on. Do you think this is my first rodeo? Come on. Be honest. Leave a comment if you saw that red and said, oh, he's going to leave that. Oh, man, that sucks. I'm about to yeah, about to tell GV at this moment. Leave a comment. Be honest. Okay, take that, take that, take that. Tab. Let's go to items and aid and eat. That. <laughs> Shove that book right down our mouths. Dandy boy apples. Two of these. Don't want to click drugs by accident. Potato crisps. And that's about it. Tab. And, God, that really does no health, huh? But we have that food processor at least. Metal gate to the mall. Looks like we're where we need to be. I don't know, man. Every, every time the metro tunnels come into play, don't expect me to know where I am. You've discovered Mall Northwest. Oh, th this is where I wanted to go, though. Yeah. So there's the Washington Monument. Uh-oh. Already in danger. Been playing Elden Ring nonstop. Oh. Wow. Um, okay, we're going to press 5. We're going to do this. Whoa. 
won't lie, that was pretty gosh dang satisfying, but probably an entirely waste of an entire waste of bullets. Where the heck is it here? What? Why do I? I feel like every episode I hotkey the combat shotgun, and then my brain is just like, all right, now zoop, turn that memory right on off. Okay, so we need to go to the museum. This is awful, by the way. We're doing this with no resources at all. Very silly. There's the Washington Monument, though, which looks fantastic, by the way. That moon looks really, really good in this game. Still holds up, I would say. Visually, a lot of things do not hold up in Fallout 3, but this does. <gasps> that was not good. God, every time that happens, man. Every time, it's so hard to spot those mines, which is good. Brotherhood of Steel. Did we know that they were here? Oh my god, they've got so much stuff. Please. Oh, don't be red. Hey, man. How's it going? Keep moving, Wastelander. God, would Cobalt steal in this instant? I almost feel like he would, to be honest with you. Could we get away with it, though? Detected. God, yeah, we're kind of, it's like life or death. I think, honestly, Cobalt would if it was life or death, which it is. Blood pack, purified water, stim packs. Okay. Bobby pin, purified water, stim packs. God, it's always that thing of, like, Bethesda. Like, see, we don't need the ammo, so we won't take that. We'll only take the, um, the healing. I think that's fair. I think he would do that, you know, especially with an established group like the BOS. They're fine. Come on. They, they, they can just put all that stuff out there on display. Come on, they're fine. Okay, let's keep moving. We got that purified water that we should drink. Let's go ahead and do that too before I forget, because I will forget. Purified water, HP plus 20. So our HP is there, so this should go up to... Oh, I'm not doing math right now. Click, click. Yeah, so it's just instant. So weird, because like I said, in Fallout New Vegas, it's a buff, right? All right, moving right along. Uh, we need to get the dish from the Museum of Natural History, which is where? Where the heck is this thing? Let's take a look at the map. Museum of Technology, not the Museum of Natural History. It's on the other side. So yeah, this is um, DC, and honestly, this is so much better done. This is one thing I for sure like better about uh, Fallout 3 versus New Vegas, is that... This DC, this downtown, whatever you want to call it, this area, is so much better done and realized than the Strip was. The Strip was a huge disappointment to me when I first visited it Visited it in Fallout New Vegas. Darts will take. I uh, was really disappointed. It was really lame. And to this day, I think it's lame. And look, I get it. You know, Fallout New Vegas is the cool kid on campus. Like, everybody loves Fallout New Vegas. Everybody pretends it's a perfect game. But, um, yeah, the Strip was a little disappointing. All right, and we're running. I do not want to take on these super although, although, that guy has exactly what I use. If can get that guy dead, that would be handy. It's going to be too tough, though, I think. Oh, actually, actually, well then, this would be the perfect time, I think, for this. Is this about to be a huge mistake? Let's find out. How did he survive that? Do we use bats? Super mutant brute? What's the chance to hit? 14%? I like those odds. It's just that easy, folks. Oh boy. Okay, we need to get in there. We need to grab that stuff and get the heck out. We're gonna press four. Oh! Oh, not good. Uh, not good. Yeah, keep laughing, buddy. Um, not good at all. What do we do here? I think we do this. I think we do this. And I think we go ahead and bite the bullet on this. Boop, boop, boop. This is gonna be very weird. Ooh! Okay. Bam. That's exactly what I wanted. Bam. We're gonna have to immediately repair that. We'll do some on-the-fly on the repairing. It's gonna be fine. Don't worry about it. R... Click. Fantastic. Okay, buddy. You are causing me a lot of... Oh, another... Okay. Um, can I... He's so fast, dude. Uh, this is bad. Real bad. Might have crippled him here, though, actually. Okay, we'll cover our escape. 
Where the heck is this place? Yeah, welcome to DC, by the way. As they said, it's a war zone. Oh my god. I'm a man with frag mines running around the wastes, but I'm ducking, dive, ducking, dodge, and diving. Yeah, I did not explore this place all that much as a kid. Ironically, I think, uh, not ironically, but I think Fallout 4 is much harder than this, because if you see, like, a super, like, ex like uh, you know, kamikaze guy, whatever, like, you are so effed, but here we can kind of dodge their bullets. All right, we're ducking in. Oh, my God, they're already here. We're in caution, though. No, 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 no. Keep doing your thing, man. This is, like, one of the only, t oh, no. Okay, so if that turns, yep, and there it is. All right. I think we can do this, but it's going to be rough. One, two, three, four. Yeah, we have no medicine, so we get no healing here. And then we need to kill this guy. What is our best weapon? Items, weapons. I guess we got to use this minigun, huh? 222 shots. Let's go for it. Get behind the pillar. Charge up. Where the heck is he? Whew, this gun is really good. Oh my god. Yeah, explosives or uh, heavy weapons are seeming real nice. Real nice at this point, but we are, every hit we take is basically permanent. So we're just gonna have to be the utmost of careful. What do we have here? Activate museum information, ahem. Welcome to the Museum of Information, the Museum of Technology System Upgrades, courtesy of Prime. Exhibit guide, transportation exhibits. Oh, this goes down the rabbit hole, huh? Well, I don't know about reading all this. Robotics exhibits, okay. Flight exhibits. Okay. Space flight exhibits. Fantastic. Special events. Vault Tech's Vault of Tomorrow. Thanks to a generous blah, 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 blah. West Tech Power Armor Demo. West Tech, the world's leading arms manufacturer, demonstrates the T-51B Power Armor suit in our Darwin Theater. Get a first-hand look at how the armor is designed to defeat any type of adversary with an actual live combat simulation using robotic targets. Time tickets are available at the information desk in the main atrium. Note that a liability waiver must be signed to attend this event. Lecture of Oppenheimer's Folly. Okay, let's go back. What else do we have? Planetarium tickets. Copernicus Planetarium schedule is subject to change without notice. Please inquire at the information desk for tickets and ticket prices. The long road to Mars, yada, yada, yada. Yeah, this is one of those where there's kind of a little too much information where even I have to tell myself, chill. <gasps> oh, this thing. Yeah. Okay, Gigantamax, whoa. Way before Pokemon Sword and Shield even existed, huh? So what happens if we did if we hit hashtag 000? Hey there, Jigs. I finally found a good place to ditch your share of the loot. It was hell getting here, but I made it. I left the usual breadcrumbs all over some of the info terminals in this place. Their computer security was a joke. Complete the sequence and you're home free, but make any mistakes and the system will lock you out. We'll meet up in the usual spot later. Good luck. Prime, oh yeah. Yeah. Uh, a prime number is something that can only be multiplied by one number in itself, right? One times one is one. This would be a prime number. Yes, although I'm going to click out and save just to make sure because I'm very stupid when it comes to anything involving math. Yeah, there's a little, like, a little mi a miscellaneous quest here. So this should work. Good luck. And it has to be just... Oh, God. You're going to make me math now. Uh, it's not 49 because it's divisible by 7, right? Uh, it's not 30 because that's divisible by 10. It's not... Is it 19? It's 19. My brain's saying, yeah, it's got to be 19 because 9 is divisible, divisible by 3, right? Oh, one confirmed? Need three confirmations. Oh my god, am I doing it? I feel like I've always failed this legitimately. I don't know if I've ever genuinely seen the uh, end to this or not. Because I just didn't understand, I think. So, yeah, the name is obviously the hint. Prime. You have to click the ones that are prime numbers, of course. Which is something that's only divisible by itself. And that's it. Um, if I'm saying that correctly. So, we need to find other terminals. There's one over here. Research leads terminal. Log entry 20. So, if it's something like this, I think we'll read it. But hopefully, this isn't too bad. Uh, 2077, 2076, 666, 0202, 0211, 03. Okay, so it starts from down here, right? Can someone please fix the planetarium projection system? The automated system that was just installed is prone to malfunctions at least once a week. We've had to interrupt the programming more times than I care to remember and end up taking over manually. Suggest we remove the system and bring back the human element so the audience will feel more engaged. B-Bell, research lead. Okay, and then this was... 
nine days later. I'd like to lodge a formal complaint regarding the firearms exhibition that's planned for temporary display in the atrium. With the world tensions the way they are right now, I feel like it's highly inappropriate to glorify these killing devices by promoting them as a tourist attraction. If this is some sort of patriotic gesture, then it's entirely lost upon me, and I urge you to rethink this decision. B. Bell Research Lead. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, Fallout 3 is a weird game to play at the moment with current events, uh, just to throw that out there. I'm aware. Okay, so this was a full month later almost, right? This is just a quick rundown of acquisitions we have been awarded for 2078. If any of these interest you, please stop by and see me so we can discuss it or submit a standard research request before the cutoff date. All submissions must be made by October 2nd, 2077, so now is the time to get them in. Supersonic Airliner, Zack's computer prototype, original model T-45D power armor suit, laser pistol prototype, B-Bell. Research lead. Okay, then we've got... I can't do math, man. Whenever this is... Our new addition to the Space Flight Gallery, the Virgo 2 Lunar Lander, is now open to the general public and ready for viewing. I want to extend a hearty thank you and job well done to the entire research and restoration team for pulling that pile of junk out of the mothballs. Out of mothballs and putting it in such fine shape. Many sleepless nights were spent on this project, and it's as a small token of our thanks, you will find a substantial bonus in your next paycheck. Give each other a pat on the back. You've earned it. Be Bell. Research League. And then finally, the virus that has been playing... Plaguing our archetype model FF06 mainframe due to an unknown attack has finally been localized by our research team and identified. After a complete cleanup of the mainframe's core, I am happy to announce that the infection has been removed. The soul of this machine has improved. B Bell Research. I feel like that's some sort of programmer joke. Is that some reference to something I'm not understanding? The soul of this machine has been improved. So, like a hello world sort of thing. Take Stealth Boy. Don't mind if I do. Activate Robco Stealth Boy 3001 description. This is the Robco Stealth Boy Model 3001 personal stealth device developed by Robert Mayflower. The Stealth Boy generates a modulating field that transmits the refre reflected light from one side of an object to the other, making the bear almost invisible to the untrained eye. So that's interesting. I wonder how like realistic that would be uh, in real applications. I would not be surprised if somebody left a comment saying, The military has the technology right now, bro. Activate M199 Assault Rifle. Perhaps the most well-recognized weapon in the modern U.S. military arsenal, the M199 earned its nickname, the Backtalker, from the unusual report the firing mechanism makes as it ejects a spent shell. Firing standard 556. Rounds, the M199 is still the official infantry weapon of the U.S. Army, on loan from the, the International Ordnance Museum. These cases display the various types of weapons and ammunitions, ammunition used in the military in past conflicts all over the globe. Uh, I like reading these little things. I know this might be boring to some people. I don't know if we'll read every single one. And obviously a lot of these are, like, not here. But, uh, yeah. Wait, what? Oh, there is five, five, six rounds there. What's that? Nice hit. Yeah, okay, let's read this. X277 Viper Magnetic Rail Cannon. That's a lot of reading, honestly, for this late at night. This is the only known prototype of the X-277 Viper magnetic rail cannon developed for the U.S. military by West Tech, also commonly referred to as Railgun. The weapons used energy cells to propel a depleted uranium route across a series of magnets, discharging it at an extremely high velocity. Deemed too costly to produce on a mass scale, the project was abandoned in 2044. On loan from the International Ordnance Museum, these cases display the various types of weapons and ammuni ammunition used by the military in past conflicts all over the globe. Okay, I think we'll maybe hit these other ones as we come back, because I'm honestly read out. Okay, so yeah, we're here to find a lunar lander disc. So there's a bunch of different installations. Um, in before, somebody says, like, hey, you're, you missed this and this and this at this place. We're going to do things like, you know, we come here for the objective, and then when we leave, or when we, you know, point being, we will get everything of value if it exists in a specific place. We will, uh, but I'm not holding myself to getting every single thing and doing every single thing uh, as we enter a new locale. Just because I feel like this game wraps you back around through a lot of different areas. Like, I'm sure there's other things that will lead us here, if that makes sense. Okay, so we're not going to stealth. I think our Pip-Boy light is on. Uh, anytime that you see this, these door bags, it's scary. Uh, because that means super mutants are nearby and uh, genuinely, yeah, with what our current setup is, it, that is a scary, scary thing. But I feel like we do have a lot of damage with this gun. That is for sure. We just need the rounds to sustain us. We have a turret control system locked average. Let me uh, flex my uh, hacking skills here. Let's try refresh. Two out of nine. Refresh. Uh, could be this, right? R E F. R E S H E D. Could be this. You could throw 
good old GB a bone. Okay. All right. Refresh. Uh, oh, it's just going to be something with ED on it. That's the most annoying thing when you have like a suffix or a prefix. It's like it could be anything, obviously. Oh, nice. Was not expecting that. Okay. Reconfigure targeting parameters, activate turret system, system information. I think we do that first, which is usually nothing. This might sometimes be like uh, inside jokes, but then we'll activate and reconfigure. No targeting. Yeah. Okay, good. Because you want no targeting. Basically, the game says like it's always going to target you no matter what. But see, now they'll go for the super boots. And they'll take each other out. Museum maintenance. I see a book to the right of this, by the way. Uh, bulletin MT 2076, 1020, 1117. So again, we're starting at the bottom, right? Due to the increased power consumption from the installation of the vault tech vault tour, three new reactors have been installed in the sub-basement section. This should help prevent any further brownouts or full blackouts in the visitor galleries that we've been experiencing. Thanks for your patience during this transition. Derek Remings, maintenance coordinator. This is a general announcement to any employees who use the men's laboratory Lava, 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 lava bathroom facility in the maintenance area. I have logged too many complaints that people are not flushing the toilets after using them. People who use the facility to relieve themselves expect a clean and tidy environment. To prevent this from becoming a reoccurring issue, card swipe access will be required for each stall, with, which will log your name, time install, and contents of the bowl until such time that we deem it no longer necessary. Nice. Content, contents of the bowl. After numerous complaints and a single pending lawsuit, the Gigantamax Theater sound system has been lowered from 130 decibels to 120 decibels. Please note that all employees working in or near the theater should still wear proper ear protection to prevent any permanent damage. Okay. I wonder how much of this is inside jokes, you know? Last one. The planetarium recording system has been malfunctioning lately, causing normally automated program to stop and repeat itself. If you observe this happening, please contact myself or the chief of maintenance on duty immediately so the system can be restarted. We hope to have the issue resolved by the start of next year. Okay. What is that? Ah, Nikola Tesla and you. Let's go ahead and read that one for another energy weapons by two. Then we will repair this with that and then cancel. And then also drop this, I think, which I think is what, just shift? Yes. Okay, and we still gotta remember to find that one um, prime mini quest because I really want to do that. Uh, we looked at that one, right? Did we not? Yeah, I was going to say, I think we did. Okay, uh, we're going to keep an eye out for... What the heck? Ugh. Kind of a waste of bullets there. Was that half of our bullets? Jeez. Uh, you can loot the turrets, by the way, I'm pretty sure. Um, okay, let's go this way. I'm trying not to lose track of any paths. Oh, yeah, here's another terminal, right? Activate museum information. Exhibit guide, special events, planetarium. So it's the same thing, but we don't have the uh, little thing. We don't have it here either. I wonder if it's random, like if you have to just keep activating these until it gives you the little hashtag. But no, doesn't seem to be on those terminals. Now, where does this go? Is that where we're headed? Yeah, over in that direction. But let's go see what this is real quick. What does that say? Information, right? But where does this go? No reason to sneak. We're just going to go loud. Halls of today. Um, what's our cure? Yeah, we should take these, right? We got the stealth boy description, the same one as before. Okay, nothing there. Yeah, super mutants are just scary, scary, scary. Oh, is that supposed to be a joke? Hall of halls of today, and there's nothing because the world's destroyed. Which again, trust me, the irony is not lost. Okay, let's have this. Oh, Welcome geez. you to our new line of subterranean vaults featuring our patented triple S technology. Okay. Triple S technology is Vault Tech's convergence of the three most important parts of apocalyptic endurance. Safety, survivability, and sanitation. Pretty cool little detail since we obviously, this will be a blast from the past for us. A blast from the recent past. Sleep in quiet comfort, knowing that our impenetrable vault doors can withstand a direct hit by an atomic bomb with only a brief <laughs> Why would you ever Being mention the projected failure rate? Smile. Our simulation lighting mimics the feeling of being outside with only a fraction of the sunburn potential. Not bad. 
Not bad. Also, yeah, the irony that there's just blood everywhere. Activate interactive button. The living sections make use of our revolutionary floor suck auto cleaner system for those darn messy kids. Never sweep again. Wow, we are really living in the future. Moms will love how our Culinator 3000 kitchen system makes cooking a breeze. Mmm, I can smell the muffins baking now. God, I could go for a muffin. Don't be talking about food this late at night, please. Bored? Don't be. Step into our Entertainatron room and watch the latest holotapes, or perhaps listen to a symphony. Another Vault Tech innovation. <laughs> I love how they just reuse the goat slides. Concerns yeah. about security? Our eye on you cameras enable the vault's leader to watch your every move. You'll never be alone again. <laughs> wow, comforting. Yeah, so they have a vault tour, which again, Should if you don't know the lore. Event arise, that the planet is laid to waste, you'll feel happy knowing your family we hope you've will enjoyed be safe in our today. vault tech vault. If you have any further questions, we please hope take a brochure from our tour today. Helpful vault tech if you have guides. any further questions, please take a brochure from our helpful vault tech guides. Yeah, I think I got it. Thank you so much. That was extremely enlightening. Okay, we've got the door to the Museum of Technology West Wing, which seems to be where our... Oh, you have to go through that to get up here. Yeah, you can probably finagle that, I bet, if you were, like, doing a speed run. Okay, into the West Wing to get our lunar... Lunar rover thingamajig. We've got the XVBO2 Vertibird prototype. <gasps> this is a scaled model of a prototype military transport vehicle being developed by the U.S. military. The XVBO2 Vertibird is a VTOL vertical takeoff and landing craft with an extremely durable armored fuselage. It can be armed with a variety of offensive weapons and defensive countermeasures. This is the most advanced aircraft of its kind ever developed, and the military hopes to press them into service by 2085. I don't think we'll ever see one of those, honestly. Okay, so yeah, we gotta check all of these informational term information terminals until one has the little hashtag. Is it you? Come on, I wanna see it. I'm having fun with this little mini game. Come on, show it to me. Ah ha ha ha. Okay, so let's see first of all if this is where it will always be. And uh, yeah, I'm just not taking any chances because I've learned in the past if you're gonna lock me out of something permanently, might as well just save. Okay, hashtag good luck. It's got to be a prime number, so it can't be any... First of all, again, I'm terrible at math and school stuff in general, so I promise you I'm not stupid. I just don't have a lot of the required knowledge some of the time. Anyways, it literally cannot be anything even, right? It would always be able to be develop, uh, divisible by itself and two, right? So it would literally have to be 53. Yeah? Yeah, I need three confirmations. Okay. So that one was easy, right? It, it, uh, the prime number can never be even. Unless it is two. Two is the only even prime number. Again, listen. I know all of this stuff is very common knowledge. I get it. I'm so far removed from the school system, man. You know, I, I, I chose a career path that, to be quite honest with you, just, you know, is, is kind of separate from a lot of the stuff that we learn. Okay? This is so soon. All right? You don't got to be mean to me. Stop it. I'm trying my best. We got a bunch of alcohol there, a fire hose box, which I feel like sometimes does have stuff that you want. What do we have here? Far out space facts. Space fact. Oh, yeah. No. What did that say? Olympus Mons, a volcano found on Mars, the largest known volcano in the solar system. It is 370 miles, 595 kilometers across, and rises 15 miles, 24 kilometers. That's three times taller than Mount Everest. Wow. I'm hoping we're not missing any, like... Uh, actual, like, jokes in there. I don't actually know. Listen, I would love to pour through every single thing. I really would, but we'll just never get anything done. And I kind of want to see if we can get that hashtag thing done today. The, uh, the prime number thing done today. Okay, we gotta go through there. Oh, I remember that. Uh, there was another room up here, though, right? Let's check that out first. And I think we'll save that other room for the next episode. Oh, I am going to hit the hay and it will explode and I will feel happy. Exhibit under construction, meaning the feeling of sleep will explode into my brain. In a good way. This exhibit is undergoing renovation and should return soon. Thanks. Oh, the lunar lander's right there, no? I guess that's not a lander. Okay, what do we have here? Delta 9 rocket. Delta 9 rocket information. The Delta 9 rocket, commissioned by the USSA in 2020, was the last of the manned rockets that sent out our brave American astronauts to the moon. The Delta 9 was in use for almost 15 years. Okay, it's too much reading, man. Too much reading for right now. Again, I want, I want to do it all, but I just can't. Not at this moment in time. What else do we have? Show instrument section, show crew section, show propulsion section. Generally, just like a lot of information, which is neat. 
but also there are people trying to kill me. That's what I was worried about. Running out of ammo right at the last second. Um, okay, hunting rifle is really going to do nothing for us. Let's go with the Chinese assault rifle. Nice. Okay, you want to go upstairs or downstairs? Where are you? Okay, Chinese assault rifle is doable, albeit highly inaccurate. Do we have a gore bag with some mutilated legs? No, thank you. You can keep those. Very low on HP here. Why is this jamming so much? It's like at half condition. That's a little ridiculous if you ask me. Delta 9 rocket. Usually the things with the same name are the same exact pieces of info. Delta 9 rocket, Delta 9 rocket. Okay, we got a locked door with an average lock here. And the Thank you. Okay, where does this go? Looks like maybe this will lead us to where we want to be going, but we're gonna, yeah, we want to make sure we don't miss the other terminals with the, let's read this. Activate Delta 9 rocket. The Delta 9 rocket was donated by the United States Space Administration by a grant from the United States Department of Antiquities. Okay. Let's head back down here to the bottom. Hello, sir. You mess with the bull and you get the horns. What can I tell you? Oh, I can see a little bed down there. Okay, there's one more super mutant I can... Ah, uh, uh. Yeah, pretty good damage, honestly. We're having no, no small guns. Okay, we got Delta 9 rocket again. Why, why did they install, like... I guess because, like, a bunch of kids from a school trip would be, like, you know, hobbling around this thing and trying to read the information. It seems unnecessary to have that many terminals, if you ask me. Captain Carl Bell. This is the actual skeleton of Captain Carl Bell who died on May 5th, 1961 after his space capsule crashed landed. Captain Bell is credited as being the first human in space on board the space capsule Defiant 7. But this had been constantly refuted by both the Soviet Union and China. Defiant 7's flight lasts for a total of 12 minutes and 7 seconds as it achieved one full revolution around the Earth, donated by Edwina Bell. There he is. Just half of a skeleton. We got a flag, more information. Oh, more music. See, this is what we wanted to see. Oh, look at that. All right. I know I should just have confidence and do it, but by golly gee willikers. I want to make sure. Okay. Cannot be any... Oh, this is a tough one, man. 99 would be divisible by 11, right? Can't be that. 105 would be divisible by 5. Cannot be that. I'm thinking it's 113, but why not 111? Would 111 be divisible by 11? What's 11 times 10? 111, right? It'd be 113, right? Get passcode. Nice job, Jigs. I knew you'd remember the good old days. The loot is in the security office safe in the upper part of the West Wing. Use the terminal up there to get in. Enjoy your share, pal. You earned it. Meet me in the old diner outside the Jerry Street Metro Station. See you there. Good luck. Prime. Yeah, sweet. And we got a map. Oh, we got a map mark. Okay, we got to remember that. Note added, earn your share. All right, we're going to hobble in this quarter. That'll be it for today, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks so much for watching. Remember that commenting, leaving likes on the video, and subscribing with the bell turned on all helps this channel and series to grow. <gasps> Thank you to the patrons who support me what I do. I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye. I'm going to bed.